Santa Wale say If I dream, let me never want wake up Let me be sleeping at this place, yeah Me never want go back to the haters Me just wait Ay, 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 Make your dance, make make a walk, and make a wish, make a move. Shout out to all of me, shout out to the Nima. Me I wonder if me live in summer super story. Big up all of the fans, them boy you're proud of me. Me I'm so loud. Cool, that's good. Yeah. It's a long time, man. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Johnny Poe, I bleep up. Ah. Ah. I got this call one day from my cousin from Nima Blade, and he was like. Yo, Ali, you know, and he was also on Facebook by then, that time. He comes to take my music, and you know, he can call me and tell me, Charlie, but this song be bad, this song be bad, wah, see, yeah, 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 you know. Oh, happy, 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 there was this show in Nima that we have to come and you know go and perform and blah 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 like that. I was like, yo, okay. His spirit like was so hard like mine because he was like always like, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we'll show them, you know. And in fact, we went to perform that day at the, um, I think that was BVIP show. Right? On the stage, I was just performing, but I saw another Nima guy also like singing my song like very hard, you know, like, hey, who is this? Thing? And that was where. I came to meet my godfather and my crew that is Deporty. This man like Deporty, as you all know. Yeah, man. Me and Shatawale, we started not today. We started long, long, long ago, almost like four or five years ago, or six years. Shatawale is the only artist in Ghana that treat his crew around him perfectly. He bought me a car, he bought another one to a car, stole. Joga me. He, he, he make us live like family and everything. So guys, you know, is he? He like that, my guy. I <laughs> <laughs> He like the button. He like the button. Yeah, that's the button. The button. The button. The button. Mm. Yes. We've been hustling for a long time. We have seen so many people die. So listen to this warning, kings and queens. It's a message to the rulers of the world. I have so many enemies. So many who turn against me. They talk about me and say, Jah will not help me. Hey. I am not afraid of your thousand enemies. But I trust in the Lord for his safety To give me the strength and power That's why me got now Security so I am giving up my life to go I am not giving up my enemies to Well it's too late to apologize Too late to apologize Apologize I am giving up my life to go I am not giving up my enemies Big up the music, we love you, follow me. Big up every peer, we are on me. This is my story, only child know me. So me now watch who I grudge me. Be proud of me, say, but me never give up. The system never ends, so me rise up to the world. Nobody else. Me, I wonder if me leaving summer superstar.
People felt we were just flaring up and trying to make ourselves controversial, but yeah, being controversial is good, but I think when you put the business mind on it and feel you have to make money out of it, it helps, you know, because it has helped me, you know. I know people might think I just want to do stuff to, you know, just make money, but who doesn't want to make money? I want to make money, and to make money is hard. So sometimes you have to use your IQ to get to where you want to get to, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, Shatter Movement is in the studio. He's still listening to the drive of your life. I told you he's coming through. I told you he's dropping his album at the Independence Square this Friday. And now he's here himself to tell us all about it. Tell us, shut up. Welcome to the studio, man. Respect, 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 Shale, man. You're one of the artists that keeps on trending in Ghana. I mean, like every day. I know people actually pay people to, to get trending, but you don't have to do none of that at all. You're always trending. People are saying a lot of stuff about negativity yeah. and a, a whole lot, but mm. you're just looking at, you're a businessman and you're, you're looking how to make business it's out true. of it. I love it. I believe people see some publicities to be negative, but you yeah. know, I, you know, nurture it to the positive way and make sure, you know, I make my ends meet for me to move on. So yeah. I love it, man. The controversies are good, you know. It makes me go fat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now the title of the album is After the Storm. The storm. Yeah. What storm are we talking about? What happened? What what storm exactly? After the storm is all about where Shatawali has been and how well we've conquered, you know, because we've conquered a whole lot of people in this industry, man. <laughs> and we're here. Not YFM, we've not conquered YFM. No. <laughs> all that I've been through with all the critics, you know, all my court cases, all my, you know, bashment <laughs> here and there, yeah. you know, yeah. I believe um, um, it's time for me to celebrate a day with my fans. And um, I, I, I could, I can boldly say right now that um, my fans have really made me proud, have really made me big, you know. Yeah, listen. No, no, no. No. How many of you know about Bandana? Show me a... Oh, so all of you, sir. Let me say, you know your fans? How many of you know about Shatawali? Good to tell your story through mm. the album, mm. uh, which is after the, the storm. storm. Actually, this album is strictly for you know my African community because I feel I've gotten a whole fan base in Africa that I am not even aware of. You know, because yeah. I get calls from Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, you know, all them countries, you know, Nigeria, and I feel um, since I'm getting that impact, um, I need to really put up something that Africa will really buy me. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, I don't know. Right here with Joel, man. Mad. Baddest. Mad in man. After the storm, man. <laughs> Music is something that is more than money to me, you know. It's, it's, it's one great thing that I've always wanted to do in my life, you know, since I was growing, you know. I feel it's one big thing that would really let people know you know, who really brought me into this world, who is God. God loves music and I believe if God really loves music then I need to do more music to, you know, praise him. And I always tell myself, anytime I get an opportunity in any song I write, I want to mention his name in there because he's the only person that can make any human being understand what good music is. And he's the only person who can make your music, you know, travel far, you know. This is Shata Kaku. 
Sadawal is that both parents come from Kijin with his colleague on where uh, Shata um, uh, grew up even though we lived at separate places. Growing up, Shata has lived with me. He lived with no one else. He's lived with me since his infancy. And um, this is a family that has a history of traveling across the globe. And so each time I traveled, um, I bought you know, CDs for him when he was about five, six, seven, eight years. And so he was musically inclined. My dad was one inspiration to me in life because I always watch him from a distance and I ask myself, you know, would I be successful like him when I grow up? My mom too, you know, always taking me to church and anytime we come home, she will come and take a tambourine and start singing songs. And, you know, I'll be backing her. She likes singing and I also join her to do stuff anytime she's doing it. So I believe that closeness really made me realize my business life and my career life. Shatter had parents who were positive minded people. I normally, especially myself, as a dad, I normally spoke positive things with him. I remember one time when I asked him how he became successful and was like, when I go, I would, I would, it would naturally come. And, you know, that was a very deep talk. So I wanted to experience it myself, but I came to realize in life when you choose a path that you really feel that is your field, and you're gonna see the success. And I believe I'm seeing it in my life. I remember one time we had a fight, you know, because I told my dad. Daddy, I don't want to go to school, I want to do music. I was like, yeah, 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 if you want to do, you know, in America, you know, when a kid is growing and he doesn't want to do something, the parents support him, I was like, yeah, daddy, you're right. One of his friends came to him and was like, Mr. Mesa, education is the key. Try and take your son to school. This is very important. And I think the thing really haunted my dad. And one day, we were in the house and I bypassed a Coca-Cola bottle. And I was like, hey. Are you that kind of thing? And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. But you, you pass by if you have I was like, tell you what. So like, take your job bus and try. You are going to school. I was like, ah, what? It was because of Coca-Cola bottle. That I go. And I believe when the Coca-Cola even signed me for that, because they made me go to school. Seventh grade was a school full of entertainment. You know, that was a school that was always organizing stuff for kids. You know, Mami Dokun was one of the people there who always comes there to do by the far side. And I wanted to do acting a bit because I felt the music was more in me and I wanted to learn acting but you know I didn't get a chance to so I really followed the music anytime there were club activities in the school I just go and do stuff like promote you know the songs that I write and people really loved it. I was not surprised when back uh, in school or I heard what he was entertaining people when it came to entertainment periods um, at the FHS level. When my educational life, you know, I told my friends I wasn't here to impress people. You know, and I know most of them came to school to really, you know, let their parents know they are learning, but I didn't want to impress anybody. And I answer my questions very quick. You know, I don't really sometimes read the question, but you know, I just circle my A, B, C, D, A, B, and up to now I'm not seeing my results and I'm happy. Because music has made me happier than, you know, my as a paper. You know, I, I love music. I feel God is directing me to do it. So the results is still there, but we'll go for it, you know, because right now the money we are looking at is not like results. You know, it's, I would say Shatek results. <laughs> That's the money, because I believe. I wanted to feed people with my music and that is what I'm doing right now and I'm happy with it. But someone who is musically inclined, um, once a parent uh, saw that it's important that you give him the benefit of the talent that he is on earth, which I would describe as a, a potential. And so I saw it and I did not quarrel with him over it at all, even though I wanted him to go do law, uh, he thought that, oh, dad, 
let me try uh, this side of uh, my gift, uh, which uh, has been bequeathed to him by God Almighty from creation. I was there one day and he came and told me he's got a, a record label that needs artists, you know, to record. I'm like, okay. The owner of the trees was like, he likes me, you know, I'm cool, I'm humble and I'm respectful and he wants to help me because I have a good career. So he's going to give me the opportunity to record an album. Because that was my dream, I really put all my you know, passion in it. I was like, yo, this is it. It should come, you know. That time, Sugar Tone was the engineer there, and I was like, yeah, let me just do this. So we started recording, and one day, I came to the studio, and the beat Sugar Tone played was a beat that I, I always wanted a beat like that, like groovy beat like that. So when I got to the studio, and I heard Sugar Tone playing, you know, that kind of groove of beat, I was like, yo, I can use this to do something. No. It was one great song. I would like to um, think that was what brought Bandana out. And me being Bandana with no good shoes, you know, good jeans, good shirts, no money, that's the hustling for 10 years was worth it, you know, because we really faced, you know, the trials and tribulations that we went through. And we go to shows, they don't pay us, you know, we perform and the promoters run away. We have to look for them, beat them and leave their money. Tell them we'll perform again for them, you know. We had to fight our way through, you know, and, it's, and it was about for 10 years. You know, we, we really fought, you know, the industry like hard. You know, we really made them see we didn't come here to play, we came here to make money. And so far as I'm performing and, you know, people are seeing me like a celebrity, we need to make money. It has not been easy with Shatter. So those of you uh, that think that he has it easy, he had it easy, and, uh, you know, growing up, uh, his dad was rich, he, his dad was a businessman. God has marked him. And I pray that people who are looking at his exploits would rather encourage him than to, you know, bring him down and award him PhD, I mean, pull him down. I don't think it's a good thing for us as Ghanaians and as family. I fought to get to this far, you know, because after my dance hall came, I really faced challenges, you know, because I was the same person that people were trying to bring down, you know, because they tagged me as the arrogant type, the rude boy, you know, a gangster, you know, that kind of thing. And I believe I've proven them wrong by using my music as a tool to fight them. I had to really make them understand that the brand Shatawale is a new brand, it's a business brand, and it's a brand that is here to really change the industry. And we came here to really do what we have to do to make the industry firm. And I believe up to now, we have made it stronger than it was before. All these times when people thought I was like, down and you know uh, i was nowhere to be found you know i was like there making music you know i was always in the room you know i wasn't going out unless maybe once in a while and i had to really join the rastafarian community more so anybody that knows akuma village knows how hard i was there all right shata is a movement shata is a family all right now 10 years Nine years, Shatta went back to the growth, he went back to the dutch, he went back to the root, he went back to the ghetto, and he was studying. He's studying, he's the only artist in Ghana who makes beats every day. Shatta is the only artist in church who makes beats every day. My own engineer that I was recording with, one day told me that he had a call from, you know, 
other people saying you shouldn't produce me anymore because I don't respect and blah blah and I was like fuck it. I'm going to look for my own money and buy myself a computer, you know, and start learning how to play big because you guys can't stop me because I'm on a mission and I don't have time, you know, you both can waste my time like that, you know, so I just got an air conditioning and my computer and my amplifier and my small speakers and I, I told myself there should be a software that should be able like to play beats without using the keyboard. Lo and behold, when I brought it home, installed it, got it on my machine, I started playing beats, you know. Go, 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 you know, and because I was a music student too, I knew what a tempo was and you know what certain things were or like were in music. So I found it like easy for me to like, you know, put stuff together. You know, my life was more into dancehall and dancehall was like in me and I I, I only wanted to do real dance or music, so we, 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 we worked with it and I think that's where the whole beats making started. Yeah, it depends, you know, because in a month I can do like, you know, 45 songs, so why? Uh, yeah, you know, like, because when I'm in the studio and like I have that spirit in me more, I, I do like four or five songs, you know, so I believe like when you know that's where it comes you know like most of the times i tell you know because i'm missy that baby i'm not getting like that feeling and she goes like be yourself one week don't go to the studio and i don't go and when i start going to the studio it's like magic you know like i record like you know crazy 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 i mean I want to... anytime we had dancehall shows anytime we get dancehall stuffs it was at tawala and that was when the click started rolling hard to Tawala to perform. Anytime there is a show, we go perform, come, whether they pay or they don't pay, we don't give a fuck. We just go there and go and perform, you know, because we feel we wanted to let the talent move well. It was crazy, you know. People start like, seeing us like different people in the industry. I remember one day, we had the chance to, you know, perform on Rapaholic. And uh, I got the crew and, told them this was our chance, you know, we've been performing too much on Sapele stages and Wawa stages, you know, so if we've gotten the chance to be on a stage like Rapaholic, which was Sakodia show, we need to make a mark. And I believe we went there and we really made that mark. I make sure some love is sad for me. You know when it's Shatawale, you have Sack Nation in the building as well. I came all the way from the States. And I dream them, it's in my Basha Tawala the Iraq about Yemaho. And when we talk about SM fans, we're talking about loyal, 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 loyal fans. And on behalf of Shatawale, I want to say a big thank you to all. It's where you know, we endorse the name Shatawale today whole public, you know, that was where people realized that, you know, the name Shatawale is in existence. <laughs> you Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome on stage Duke. One time, you know, I had this bashment for my teachers, you know. They, you know, saying all whole lot of stuff about me that I don't learn in class when it's entertainment. You know, I go and perform. And one day I just got this idea that, okay, why don't I change the perception of these teachers in my school where, you know, I show them it's not me, but it's the direction that I'm getting in my life, which is God's direction. Duke Thompson was my friend, and you know, I told him that well, we should try and surprise the people in the school, you know, because I think they're really, really seeing us as so bad. They, they seen us like bad boys, you know. We don't want to, you know, learn what is right. We want to lead, you know, most of the boys in the school astray. So we wrote a song, 
It was a song that gospel song that people knew. And I think since that night, all my teachers were like, wow, wow, you guys have got talent. Did you pursue it? You know, that gave me a very, you know, big, you know, living school, you know. When I'm sleeping in class, you know, my teacher can't even call me and say, why are you sleeping? I'm like, say, I'm tired. So, okay, you can't sleep, you know. If music is a career, you've already seen your job. I said, yeah, you know. Yeah, I felt, you know, it made me feel like easy in school, you know, because I felt the teachers were realizing who I was doing. We are not going to end here. We have a long way to go. And I think that once we become closer as, as a team, as people who are taking Ghana into, and, and the music industry in Ghana into the heights, we will do well, both individually as a group, to ensure that Shatter's career, collectively, in this industry, is taken to a level that all will appreciate, including Ghana, where he was born. I believe my career is going to flourish. You know, we, we, we're working hard to get to the next level and I think it's going to be one tremendous like you know movement that you know the whole Africa will talk about you know a day to come you know and they would really realize and see who I am well and what I really came into this world to do. I know the movement is going very far not only in Ghana but internationally and everywhere and I think that if we all support and then take away all this negativity around him and then bring positivity around him he'll go far. I've done things in the industry where I believe no artist has ever done it before. I've been able to take a bold step you know to cause a change in our music industry. I've been able to you know move mountains you know I've been able to fight giants, you know. I believe I want my music to go around the world. I believe I want, I want my music to spread just like the way the word of God has, you know, you know, captured people's hearts in the world. And I pray that this negativity will stop so we can all bring the music industry in Ghana to a level and the height that we all come to appreciate. On this note, this is Shata Kapo. Shata Wali is dad. God bless us all. Thank you. Probably the most awesome person you would ever meet along the way in life, apart from Shatawale. He's an awesome father too at home. He, he, he takes good care of Majesty and Sharisa. Yeah, much better than I do. So you know all those two channels? Okay. You know you know it. You know this, like that's a school, okay? <laughs> So do it, I'm coming, okay? <laughs> He's God sent. That's how I would put it. I'm not I'm not trying to brag or make him look like an angel. No, he's not. But he's he's God sent. He's a great father, a great artist. He's a blessing to dance hall in Ghana. Rise up and pray. It's your best guitar player. <laughs>
everything I do, everything I do is for the money. Everything I say, everything I say is for the money. Everything I do, everything I do is for the money. Everything I say, everything I say is for the money. Do la, do la, do la, do la. Ulo, We got me funny like Ghana, America and Jamaica. I they count the paper, I don't make anything hate that. Yeah, you want me on it? You know something like that? Make them talk, we know go bother. Bother. Hey, my friends, if you not be you, then my paper. You're yeah, wicked, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah, I want to take this opportunity to thank my manager and give me more. You know, even though we have more, I know it's a good work, hard work, hard work, pay. I want to thank my body, man. This bone, man, that's my chief security, man. Mad, you know, don't you know, you have to say, put him up. Yo, that be my wicked, you know, visuals. I don't know why today, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, that's it. So you know, you know, see, I know the whole camera. Where are the shots, man? The shots, man, where are you? Ah, lousy blade! Wait, hey, hey, you go the sheet, baby. They go sheet faster than they like the toilet. You know? <laughs> 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 see, see, they 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 Kids, 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 man, you know. She's part of this success, man. It's gonna be great. People should watch out, man. I know you don't want to see Majesty, but Majesty, there, yeah, yeah. he said, no one come camera right now, unless he chop something small. He like one, so, you know, wicked. Yeah, man, wicked. Respect one.